the treatment of this Trump nominee shows why we don't have more women in power with so much focus on the bad behavior of men in positions of power. There has also been increased attention on the question, wouldn't it be better if there were more women in positions of power, too? Conservatives bristle at the idea of electing or appointing people to roles to meet certain demographic targets, but it is hard to suggest that it is perfectly fine and natural that, say, less than 10% of Republicans in Congress are female. The Trump administration has taken heat in recent weeks for appointing relatively few women to positions in the federal judiciary. The current makeup of the Trump cabinet includes women in only four of the 23 cabinet-level roles. Just last week, we got one step closer to an improvement in those numbers. Kirstjen Nielsen's nomination by President Trump for Secretary of Homeland Security was advanced out of committee, with a final vote on her confirmation is expected shortly after Thanksgiving. Nielsen, an eminently qualified choice holds the distinction of being the first nominee to the Department of Homeland Security post to have previously served at the department itself. That experience, says Fran Townsend, Nielsen's former colleague from the Bush administration, is a major asset. Her ability to understand the inner working of the department, the inner workings of that bureaucracy, are enormously valuable, said Townsend when I spoke with her about Nielsen's nomination. But if you read the sort of person who believes we as a society have achieved gender equality and women pursuing prominent roles are treated fairly, boy, have I got news for you. If a woman rising in power is too tough or aggressive, she has attacked for it. If she has attractive, she has accused of having used that to her advantage. And even if a woman is beyond qualified for a role, there will always be those who raise doubts about if she has really qualified. In Nielsen's case, she has been on the receiving end of all of those and more. Let us start with the most egregious offense, coming from perhaps the least surprising source, Ann Coulter. I don't like conspiracy theories on attractive women using sex for promotions, but other than being very pretty, Trump's DHS nominee cursed John Nielsen as Chuck Schumer. Coulter has made torpedoing Nielsen's nomination a priority over immigration, due in part to measured answers given by Nielsen over issues such as the border wall and deferred action for child arrivals, affecting those known as the Dreamers. If Coulter wants a wall from sea to shining sea and wants the dreamers deported, she has a right to that position. Pushing the idea that a woman with whom she disagrees must be trading sex for power. Despicable, though hardly a shock from someone like Coulter. At least Coulter puts her name on her appalling statements. Politico's off it to run with a story headlined Kelly's deputy annoys Trump aides with rigid style.